Well, hey there, guys. Just want to welcome everybody back. I really appreciate everybody joining me back here today. So look at what I bring you. I bring you another installment on this F-250 here, the 2010, the one that I just put the engine in. Uh, overall, the truck runs really good. Nothing wrong with it. Um, you know, it runs and drives really nice. And overall, it's got really good power. I think overall, the engine turned out really good in this. Uh, we do have one problem, though. Uh, and unfortunately, we do have an oil leak on it. So if you look uh, on the passenger side, right behind the passenger side front tire there, you can see there's a little puddle right there. And yeah, so <laughs> guess what? You know, yeah, it's the dreaded oil leak, okay? So anyways, what's going on with this is uh, we've got a turbo drain leaking on it. it used, it's got two turbo drains. It's got one on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. And here's the here's a little nipple that's leaking, okay, and I probably suspect that I may have it in backwards, okay, so technically it's supposed to go in tapered side down. I'll show you right here. Got the old block right here. So you can see right here, this is the drain housing right here, okay? So I'm suspecting that I probably have it in like this. You know, so what's happening is oil obviously is bypassing the seal and it's just leaking, you know, so it's got a pretty tight fit. I mean, re regardless of which way it goes in, I mean, yeah, you can definitely tell that, you know, this side doesn't, this side takes a lot of force to go in, where this side tapered side down, you know, it's easy to push in, but yeah, obviously we got a new seal here. So looking at the other side of the engine here, see that hole right there? That's, you know, there's a, actually a tube that runs from the driver's side or the bottom of the turbo, you know, that kind of, it's like an SC tube, you know. And those all, those are usually what leaks on these, but, you know, these usually don't leak. So that's what we have going on with this truck. Unfortunately, you know, I'm gonna have to go ahead and pull the turbo's off to repair this, so um, you know I'm kind of debating whether or not I should just go online and order a new turbo drain for it, and uh, wait till that gets here, or I just reuse the one that's on the truck. The one on the truck is kind of fucked up, anyways, because obviously, you know, it's been apart before. So you know, when I took it apart, obviously there's a bolt that's supposed to hold that, uh, you know, the the drain down on the driver's side. You know, that little S tube there, and unfortunately, the bolt was missing. I mean, you know, if you're doing it kind of like I did when I had the, you know, the engine out and I was able to lay the turbo right on the engine, there's no problems with that, you know. So, but the problem is, you know, when I went ahead and took, when I checked the original turbos on the truck, if you guys look in the previous video, you can see obviously that one high side turbo was no good. So, and that's why I had to replace it. I mean, everything else looked good on the engine, you know, but I got these set of turbos for a hundred bucks with exchange. You know, I just exchanged the guy, those old turbos of mine, and these work fine. There's nothing wrong with them other than, you know, the stupid little part right here. So, you know, but hey, you know, I'm gonna probably have to spend a better, you know, better part of seven or eight hours finishing this up. And also too, it needs an alternator, so, you know, um, so, but yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, I think the truck turned out good. Uh, but, so, anyways, I really appreciate everybody joining me here today. If you like these type of videos, please drop a like. And uh, look forward to the next video here. And uh, appreciate everybody joining me here. Catch you guys later. See ya.